Question 36. Frankie borrows $200,000 from a bank. The loan is to be repaid over 23 years at a rate of 7.2% per annum, compounded monthly. The repayments have been set at $1,485 per month. The interest charged and the balance owing for the first three months of the loan are shown in the spreadsheet below. Part A. What are the values of A and B? The first thing to work out is the interest rate per month. In the question, the interest rate is quoted as 7.2% per annum, which means per year, but the compounding is done monthly. So to find the monthly interest rate, we take the yearly interest rate, which is 7.2%, and then divide that by 12, which equals 0.6% per month. To find the value of A, which corresponds to the interest charged in the second month, we take the principal at the start of the second month, which is $199,715, and multiply that by 0.6%. So A is equal to 199,715 times 0.6%, which equals $1,198.29. To get the value of B, which corresponds to the balance at the end of the third month, we take the principal at the start of the third month, add on the interest, take away the monthly repayment to get the value of B. So B is equal to 199,428.29 plus 1,196.57 minus 1,485, which equals $199,139.86. Part B. After 50 months of repaying the loan, Frankie decides to make a lump sum payment of $40,000 and to continue making the monthly repayments of $1,485. The loan will then be fully repaid after a further 146 monthly repayments. How much less will Frankie pay overall by making the lump sum payment? Consider the original conditions. The total amount to be repaid is equal to 23 for 23 years worth of payments times 12 because there are 12 payments per year times 1,485 because each monthly payment is $1,485. So that gives the total amount repaid to be $409,860. Now with the lump sum repayment, the total amount repaid is 50 plus 146 months times $1,485 per month plus the $40,000 lump sum payment, which equals $331,060. The total saved is the difference between this value and this value. So the total saved is equal to $409,860 minus $331,060, which equals $78,800.